For this video, we partnered with Logitech to show you two awesome competitions that are happening right now where you can win some really amazing prizes and you don't even have to be the fastest. So listen carefully. The first competition is Beat My Lab Challenge, which is actually happening with me currently for next six days. Today is 14th of February, it ends on 20th of February, and it's very simple. You just need to beat my lap time to be able to participate, and one of the lucky winners, whatever lap time you set, will win Logitech G Pro wheel and the wireless headphones, and the fastest guy as well. So basically, for even if you are not fast, you can still win. And it's very easy to beat my lap time, guys, because I did it for community. Uh, you can beat it on a keyboard or even on a mouse. That's it, basically. <laughs> so check it out, by the way. If you remember, my lap time was very, very interesting when I was doing this challenge for hot lap. I need to work out, guys, more. I need to work out. Guys, I, I can't do it. I need to work out more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need to work out properly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. I think I completely fixed my life right now. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope I got you guys. I hope I got you guys. It's currently happening on a Brands Edge with McLaren 720S. So we're gonna do a hot lap and I will show you around so it's easier for you. I might also show you setup. Depends, depends. Apology for sweating, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm just sick, you know? Very, very sick. <laughs> the second competition you really need to pay attention to is the Logitech G Challenge itself, where actually uh, from 21st of February until 4th of March, you can do last qualifier and just participating there. First of all, you can win crazy prices or like racing there you can win crazy prices so definitely check it out and also two lucky people from beat my lap time competition and from logitech g challenge can actually win a trip to austria f1 and meet greet london Norris. so i think that's pretty cool just by like driving you know you don't have to be the fastest guy obviously the fastest guy will win have a chance to win this as well but overall this is very very cool so guys this competition right now is happening on a brand's edge misano and hungaroring with gt3 gt4 and 650s mclaren and we're gonna check it out oh i think i forgot to mention uh this is uh for acero corsa competizione and on pc but don't worry my console friends we will make something for you as well this is the wheel you can actually win with the pedals and with the headphones and I'm gonna use this wheel to show you around. This is like a little Logitech G Challenge truck guide, car guide from my point of view guys. So yeah, enjoy! Okay, here we are in Misano. I'm gonna take it slow because for me right now this is not about hot lapping but showing you a proper lines, if you will. So going for a hot lap. Kind of send the car nice on the exit here. On a Misan, you have to really learn how to drive around, like how to use the off-track limits here to the maximum. First corner, very, very tricky. You can use the curbs massively, as you can see. No problem, no problem with the curbs. Using the whole racetrack for advantage. Heavy braking, heavy braking here, guys. Double apex. You can upshift to second if you will. Cut the corner massively. Watch out for the sausages on the exit. Very important not to go over those. Oh, mate, driving six is, is sick, is the worst. Heavy braking here. Don't miss the apex. You can go a little bit over the curves in this area. Just be careful not to invalidate. Trail braking is really important here in Misano. Eight apex here, trying to get as good exit as possible because in a race you can get some good run here to overtake some other cars. The BOP difference on Misano is very, very uh, big with some other cars. Okay, very tricky corner. Just a little bit braking, sending the car over the curb, watch out not to invalidate. And heavy, heavy braking into the hairpin. You could do like a little bit later apex or early apex, really depends on situation watch out for the bumps here don't invalidate in the second to last corner and send it to the last corner 
Ooh. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. You should be aiming around 132 love times. 33 is really, really, like 32 is alien base. Uh, 33 is really good base. 34 is good still as well. So that's 720 on Misano, guys. Easy for Logitech G Challenge, I think. Very good combination. Very tricky combination. Hungaroring and McLaren 650S. It's like a very, very old GD3 car in the Asuro Corsa competition. Ultra tricky to drive, especially on Hungaroring. So let's see if he can drive properly. I would say very difficult combination, but enjoyable to drive. Let's try to have it properly into the first corner. Be prepared for a lot of sideways action with this car combo. Important to hit the corners properly. Here, try to focus on the exit. Don't drift the car too much. So we have the best possible exit here on a long straight. Very, very tricky. Next corner, probably the most dangerous corner with this car. Have to use all the curves. So watch out for this exit curve. It's very, very slippery. Going to the chicane. With this car, you can go over the curves, but be careful. The car still bottoms out a lot. But you have to use all the track for your advantage, guys. Oh, massive, massive drift there on the entry. As said, this car is very, very tricky. <laughs> this is good. This is good, though. This is really good, guys. My, my favorite section. You have to send it into this corner. Slide the car a little bit. Watch out to not invalidate the lap. Use maximum of the curve you can. Oh, this was lovely. The lap times you should be aiming for, like pros are doing low, mid 43. If you do 45, I think that's really good pace, by the way. It's a really tricky combo, as, as you can probably see from my driving already. Double apex here to the last corner, focus on the exit, use maximum of the track, and this is Hungaroring with 650S McLaren. Wicked. Wicked, guys. Oh, man, the Brands Edge is so amazing with GD4. 570 GD4 McLaren. No downforce, or like way less downforce. Relying on a mechanical grip most of the time. Sending the car properly into the corners. You have to be very, very precise because you go off the line. You have to take a different lines compared to GD3. To focus like maximum on the exits. Look at this, like, ooh, yes. But this is like, I, I love this cover, guys. Like GD4 in this game are fantastic. And this car on Brands Edge is so challenging. I have to break earlier. Really, really careful on the throttle. The car just wants to understeer and oversteer. Use the curbs, use the grass, and send it. Like 32s, 31s is the pace you want to aim for. It's not the hardest combination, but you have to be, like, compared to GD3, you have to be very patient. You can't just send it, you know, into every corner. Brilliant. I love it. Oh, one more corner. I'm at the GD4. <laughs> like 31, 30 you can do, but if you do 32, 33, it's already a good lap time, guys, here. Whew, my favorite combo. But now, let's go to my favorite combo, which is actually beat my lap challenge one. This is what is happening in the Logitech G challenge, guys, this combo. But I want to show you the beat my lap lap, which is on Brands Edge with GD4, GD3 uh, McLaren against me. <laughs> you should never race when you are sick, by the way. But now, guys, we have the last thing. Beat my lap challenge. My lap time on Brands Edge, because I was doing something a little different, is 142. And to prove you that it's easy to beat on, a, on anything, I'm gonna take a controller and try to beat 142 on Brand's Edge with control. So let's see, let's see if we can do it. All right, all right, moment of truth. Can we do a flying lap? Oh, this was decent. The most difficult is downshifting and braking at the same time and trying to stay straight. 
also spun in my out love, so. Oi! Oh, All right, come on, we need to stay on the track, guys. This is going so, so far so well. I just want to show you how easy it should be to beat my love. So we can participate in Beat My Love Time Challenge, guys. And win Logitech G Pro Wheel. Even if you're not a hot lover. <laughs> like me. <laughs> oh. I'm afraid. I need to be careful in this sector. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, massive drift through. It's looking good. It's looking good. I think we're going to make it easy peasy. 123 is like a 22, 23 is like a normal up time. 20. See, guys, on the controller, you can easily beat my lap time and you can participate in beat my lap time challenge. Also, guys, all the information is below the video in the description. Everything. Everything is in the description, guys. Whew, that was easy. <laughs> yes. There you have it, guys. Simple challenge. Easy to participate in with really good McLaren cars. And yeah, obviously, thank you to Logitech for sponsoring this video and for making this happen. And guys, go beat my lap. You still have six days. You can do it. You can do it. And maybe you will be the one who will win Amazing Wheel and really, really proper setup. Or maybe you will even win the trip to Austria, to Formula One. So yeah, guys, it is worth it. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and see you next time.